episode 8 and welcome to a video where we're going to work through a class test that my students wrote on geometry. Um, it's everything up to sim similarity and congruency. So just before that, I will make another video on just similarity and congruency. So this video is on the geometry of straight lines, the geometry of parallel lines and the geometry of triangles. All right, so this was a class test out of 35 marks, and I would like to go through it with you. It's always good just to work through past class tests, work through past exams. Um, it always gives you a good indication as to what types of questions people may ask. Okay, so it starts off with a very easy question where um, they say complete the following statements to make them true. Use the following word bank. So to make it even a little bit easier, it was the first test that the grade eights were writing about geometry. So sorry we really try to help them ease into it especially it's yeah as it was their first first test on all types of geometry okay so all interior angles of a triangle add up to i hope you know that 180 degrees vertically opposite angles are equal to each other Okay, please, very important, when you use the um, reason, you must say vertically opposite angles. Okay, and then A and triangle has three sides that are equal. It's an equilateral triangle. And then angles opposite equal sides is a reason when working with an isosceles triangle. Remember, isosceles has two sides that are equal, which also has two um, angles that are equal to each other and then angles around a point add up to 360 degrees okay so that was quite easy just to ease you in there all right same with question two they just ask you is it true or false so a is equal to b because of vertically opposite angles that is true b plus c is equal to 180 because of co-interior angles so we just need to check which two sides were given as parallel so this one as well as this one so you can take it that b and f together will give you 180 or c and that unnamed angle over there together will give you 180 but b and c because these two weren't given you can sort of see they aren't parallel um, you can't say that B and C equal to 180. So that would be false. C and D equals to 180. C and D equal to 180. Why? Because of angles on a straight line. So that's true. Um, we also say adjacent angles on a straight line. Um, yeah, lots of people say you have to say adjacent angles on a straight line, but you can say angles on a straight line. And then D and E together gives you 180. Um, D and E, so that would give you that co-interior angle because of A, B parallel to C, D. So that is true. And E, F, e is equal to F. E is equal to F because of corresponding angles. So if you look at the F over there, uh, it would mean, sorry, that this angle over here is equal to D. And over here, B is equal to H because of corresponding, but not E is equal to F. Okay, because those E and F is not parallel to GH. So that would be false. And then F plus G plus H plus I is equal to 360 angles around a point, And that is true. Okay, another six easy marks. Okay, now here we started with the geometry questions where they say to you, calculate with the reasons the sizes of the angles represented by the small letters X, Y, and Z. So over here, can you see that X plus 55 plus 15 gives you 180 because of adjacent angles on a straight line. So X plus 50, 60, 70 is equal to 180. And then you subtract 70 on both sides and you get 110. 
70, just making sure that I e x is equal to 110. And the way I would have given the marks is x is 110, and for your reason, angles on a straight line. Number B, hope you can see that we've got a point, and we've got all the angles around the point except for this x over here. So even this one, even though it doesn't look like it's been given, that is a 90 degree angle. Okay, so 65 degrees plus 90 plus 15 plus 170 plus x is equal to 360. And that's because of angles round a point. So then you're going to add all those together. And that equals to x plus 340 is equal to 360. Then you subtract 340 on both sides and you get x is 20. Again, x is 20, angles around a point. Some teachers would have given you three marks just for your calculation there as well. All right. Then x over here. Can you see if you've got two straight lines and the one side is then equal to 35, so x is equal to 35, but the same with b is also equal to y. So those are the two vertically opposite angles. Okay, but we, they're just asking for x first. So x is equal to 35 degrees because of vertically opposite angles. Please, not just opposite, vertically opposite. Now that we've got x is 35, we can say that x and y, they are sitting together on a straight line. So x plus y is equal to 180 because of adjacent angles on a straight line. Okay, but we know x is 35. So y is equal to 180 minus 35. So y is equal to 145 degrees. Okay. Now we've got y is 145, and now for z over there, let me just clear up a little bit. Okay, so for z, can you see the f lying upside down here? These two have been given that they are parallel, so the inside over there is equal to x, so x is equal to z, which is equal to 35 degrees, and that is because of correspondence bonding angles. I always tell my kids how to remember this. I'm walking down the corridor and I see a big F. Okay, so corresponding is the F corridor. Okay, please don't forget it. Very important. You won't get your marks if you don't say that BD is parallel to CE. Okay, you could have said EC is parallel to DB. We usually, usually just keep to alphabetical order, but there's no harm in saying EC is parallel to BD or EC is parallel to B, um, DB either. Okay. All right. So there we've got our six marks, X, Y, Z, and then the corresponding reasons as well. Good. Okay. Let's have a look at this one a little bit harder, leading you into the questions, into the um to the harder type questions. So they say to you, A plus 75 plus 35 is equal to 180. And why is that? Can you see that it forms a beautiful little triangle? So it's the angles of a triangle, or I always write interior angles of a triangle. Okay, so A is equal to 70. Then they say to you, B, let me just clear up here a bit. B plus 75 is equal to 180. Can you see why B plus 75? And that is because of adjacent angles on a straight line. Together, they should give you 180. So B is equal to 105 degrees. Okay. Then they say to you C is 35. And why do you think C is 35? Let's see. There's the other 35. Aha. Uh -huh. So this looks like alternate angles. Can you see the beautiful Z or the N lying there? Okay. N or Z is the alternate angles. And very important, you have to say PR 
is parallel to TU. Okay, now the next one, which some of my students struggle to see, 75 plus 35, let's quickly clear up here a bit. Okay, they say 75 plus 35 plus D is equal to 180. So can you see, because those two have been given, given to you, sorry, as parallel, that forms co-interior angles, a little bowl. Okay, so it's because of co-interior angles and the two stripes is PT or PQ, doesn't matter. PT, just as you know which line you are referring to, is parallel to RU or RS. Okay, so then D is equal to 70 plus 30 is 110, so D is equal to 70 degrees. Okay. Then they say to you, E plus 35 plus D. E, let's quickly see. E, B, 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 E plus 35 plus D. Okay, that's quite easy to see. It's because of adjacent angles on a straight line. And because we got D already as 70, we can see that E would be um, 75. Another way we could have seen that, sorry, I'm just adding up there to see <laughs> that it adds up, is with alternate angles over here. Can you see there's your Z? Because these have been given as parallel, you could have also said E is 75 because of alternate angles. Okay, the other way is just angles on a straight line, adjacent angles on a straight line. All right. Let me just clear that up for if you want to have a look at it again. Okay, and this was the last question, a little bit more, um, a little harder, where we've just got X's or we've got uh, um, angles in terms of a X value. And luckily for now, we only have X's. So if we had an X and a Y with an equation, you can only have one variable missing. Okay, so you can have an X missing, then you will be able to find that X with um, an equation. But if you've got, for in grade 8, um, you need, sorry, with, with an equation, you, only ha you can only have one missing variable, which is in this case, X's. If you have an X and a Y with one equation, then you can't solve that. Okay, so now let's quickly have a look over here. Can you see that this forms exterior angles of a triangle? And people, now in this case, it's very, very important that you understand the exterior angles of a triangle. I remember at school, um, we always said, oh, you can use angles on a straight line, bring in this angle, and then you can use interior angles of a triangle. But in this case, it's so much easier if you can just see... Um, the exterior angles of a triangle. So how it works is you need a triangle and then one of the sides has to be lengthened, has to be um, um, extended. Okay, so if you've got a triangle and a, an arm like this going out, that is not exterior angles. It has to be a straight line like so or like so or like that okay that is exterior angles of a triangle so that means these two are added up together will give you this one these two bubbles here added up will give you that one these two bubbles over there added up together will give you that one so it's the exterior angles when you bloop inside not that one but the other two added together okay so in this case this one gives you these two added together okay and then we're just going to have an equation where we have to solve x so 3x minus 15 plus 4x minus 30 so remember if you say plus minus 30 it still stays a minus 30 and that is equal to 4x plus 30 and your reason is exterior angles of a triangle then we can go and simplify 3x plus 4x is 7x 
minus 15 minus another 30 is minus 45 degrees. And that gives you, oopsie, sorry. Let me just start that one over again. Is equal to 4x plus 30. Okay, so 7x minus 4x is 3x. And 30 plus 45, 4, 6, 75. Thus, x is 25 degrees. Okay, and your degree sign over there. Well, x is actually 25, but when we replace it, it is going to give you a degree. Okay, now they say to you, show that triangle ABC is not an equilateral triangle. So remember, an equilateral triangle has got all sides the same and all angles are equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so now what we need to go and do is we need to go and replace this 3x minus 15. So we want to replace the x with 25 which gives you 75 minus 15 gives you 60 degrees. Oh, okay. We've got the one side, one angle, sorry, equal to 60. Let's see the next one, 4x minus 30. And if you replace the x with 25, what you've got there, it gives you 70 degrees. So thus, because this one is 70 and the other one is 60, which made me believe maybe it is an equilateral triangle, but because of this, it is not. Okay, so um, triangle ABC is not an equilateral triangle. Um, yeah, basically that, showing that this one is 70, which then it can't be an equilateral triangle. Okay, so I hope you've learned something. It's quite a quick video just to uh, run over some um, geometry questions. And yeah, I hope you understand your ge geometry, that you're not scared of it, and that you um, yeah remember to just revise all your reasons and that you know your reasons off by heart. Okay, thank you so much for watching Grade 8s. Have a wonderful day. Bye.